Uh, so my name is Yoshinori Ono, and I'm a uh, producer at Capcom, and I'm here today uh, to talk about the new title, and specifically about uh, Hakan, the new character in it. So I'll give you a little background on Hakan and how he was devised. So basically, er early on in the process of making Super Street Fighter 4, we knew we wanted something new and, and, and different than we hadn't seen before. You know, with, uh, with regular Street Fighter 4, we brought a lot of old characters back, we added some new ones, but we felt like there was still something missing. We didn't have a new Blanca, a new Dolphin, a new kind of wacky offbeat character. So at the beginning, we took like a month and I told all the dev team, I said, hey, let's go on YouTube, let's write some videos, let's try and find interesting fighting styles. Let's look around, explore the world, see what's out there. So we can come up with something new. Um, so among these videos, we got into this Turkish oil wrestling where these, these older guys actually douse themselves in olive oil. You know, they, they can kind of grapple with each other. You know, granted, it's an important part of culture in that part of the world, but you know, looking at it from the outside, it just looks like it's a really interesting fighting style. Um, so we thought, you know, this would really fit with Street Fighter. If we found a way to arrange this and make it Street Fighter-like, they come up with some really unique stuff here. So that's how it was born. You know, we really we wanted uh, kind of a new Dolphin or new Blanca for this new game, and Akan kind of fills that role with his unique fighting style. So basically, our, our main kind of theme, what we were driving toward in, in uh, regular Street Fighter 4, was kind of a class reunion of sorts, getting all these old characters together, it, re rejoining the user themselves with, with Street Fighter again, with, uh, you know, getting them used to it again. So basically, you know, the Street Fighter 2 characters and some of the Alpha characters, we can think of them as all being gone to the same school, hence the reunion theme. Whereas the Street Fighter 3 characters are kind of different. Maybe they went to the same school, but they were in a different uh, uh, department. Maybe they were studying the engineers or something, while the Street Fighter 2 and Alpha P4 were the humanities department, something like that. So they're a little bit different, and they were kind of hard to do right away. But we saw we, the fan reaction after 4 came out. A lot of people assumed wrongly, of course, that, uh, that I, I somehow didn't like the Street Fighter 3 series or I hated those characters. So, uh, you know, that's definitely not the case. So we wanted to show them, that, no, of course we don't just like, we love these characters. Um, but we're gonna have to adjust them a little bit to get them in. So we knew we wanted to do these characters in 3. The first thing you want to do is figure out who the users wanted. Because we kind of wanted to make this sort of a fan service sort of game. So all of our research, looking at message boards, looking at emails, we found consistently that Dudley, Makoto, and Ibuki came out on everyone's list. So those three were chosen based upon user requests, uh, and that's basically kind of the story behind that. Um, so when, when we had to put characters from three and four, you know, we, we wondered about how are we going to squeeze these guys in here without the, the parry system. So basically what we did, we took a really close look at these characters, we kind of sliced and diced them, we figured out which parts pertain specifically to parry, and which parts are a part of their regular moveset. So when we sliced off the parry part, we didn't just throw the trash can. We took it aside, we said, how do we arrange this, how do we fix this, how do we alter this? to squeeze it into the Street Fighter 4 mold. You don't want to take things away, you want to kind of change it up a bit. So basically what we found was that if we uh, uh, really focused on the high level players, the players that would have used parrying a lot in 3, what we find is we have the technique of uh, you know, EX focus canceling, which is a really high level sort of thing to do. And it kind of suits the Street Fighter 3 play style. So you know, they can no longer parry in the pure sense, but they have kind of a similar high level strategy that people can use. So rather than kind of force characters from Street Fighter 3 into 4, we looked at it as uh, making Street Fighter 4 characters that felt like Street Fighter 3 characters, if that makes sense. So we kind of arranged them, we touched them up, we brushed them up a bit, changed them up, and then put them in 4 so they felt natural but still retained um, some of that challenge, some of that high level sort of strategy that Street Fighter 3 characters always had. Um, so hopefully we got there where we needed to be. The users will make the final call there. So once again, I'm here talking today about Super Street Fighter 4, not only Nusha, but Super Street Fighter 4. Um, and this game will be released on both the PlayStation 3 and uh, Xbox 360. Uh, the release date in North America is April 27th. So uh, by all means, when the 27th rolls around, pick it up, check it out. We think it uh, represents a really big leap from Street Fighter 4, so we hope you really enjoy it.